what is up leo welcome or welcome back to the channel this is a love reading for the sign of leo all placements please remember to only take what resonates leave the rest for someone else in the event that this reading doesn't resonate feel free to check out your other placements here on the page i do recommend that you listen to your venus juno and or moon sign that will give you more information okay hearing north node for some reason too the north node keeps coming out i feel like you're going to be meeting someone just like you or somebody who like challenges you inspires you okay they feel very close to you if they're not in your life yet okay this person's triggering the f out of you because they're supposed to because they're just like you okay all right but for some of you i was getting this message try hard or try harder that's your channel message some of you you're trying too hard or you are a try hard or someone is a try hard and that doesn't turn you on that's a turn off for you okay for others of you try harder and this is all in terms of love i'm not speaking on anything else okay i'm talking about love unconditional love your self-love romantic love friendship love try harder one 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 on the timer it's time to start something new or time to change something up okay I feel like someone needs you to try harder. You're your spirit team. You are a connection that you're in. Try harder. Put in more effort. Put in more work, okay? For some of you, you're like struggling with the dating or struggling with love because you're not trying hard enough. You're like waiting for people to come to you. You're waiting for people to notice you. You're waiting for people to step out of their comfort zone and make it happen. It's not going to work that way. <laughs> I'm hearing that. For some of you, it really won't. Some of you, you're the masculine and you don't know it. For others of you, I'm getting like, people just aren't going to come up to you like that. You're intimidating, you're sexy, you're strong, you're independent. No one's going to be like, yeah, Leo, because not a lot of people are like that. But there is someone who's like you, and I feel like that's the person you're going to be with, or that's the person that you're with right now, okay? So try hard and try harder, okay? Remember, only in terms of love. You're doing fine and everything else I'm hearing. But look, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. This could be friends, family, any type of love, right? Try harder. Tell them what's going on with you. Communicate your feelings. Communicate your wants, your desires, your needs. Okay, I'm hearing nobody knows unless you tell them, right? I'm also hearing the heart wants what it wants. So listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going. And I don't know why Listen to your heart Before you tell them goodbye Listen to your heart by Roxette Some of you, you need to try harder in a connection that you feel like is slipping away Or this is what you're telling someone else Either way, this is what I'm getting Spirit doesn't want you to give up on this connection or spirit doesn't want you to give up on yourself or spirit doesn't want you to give up on love. Apply it to your situation how it fits. But heart to heart conversation says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And I feel like that's crucial for you right now, Leo. You need to honestly discuss. Honestly talk about it. Be vulnerable. Right? Someone is just like you. So if you're vulnerable, they'll be vulnerable. Right? It's scary, but only because you think that it won't be reciprocated for some of you. You feel like it's unrequited love or you feel like it's not reciprocated love, but like... <sighs> I feel like if you just make the first move, it'll be fine. <laughs> but that's just what I'm getting, okay? Try harder. Especially if you've been like in this woe is me when it comes to love and dating. And I feel like it's just because you're waiting for someone to do it for you. Or you're waiting for someone to come into your orbit and just be like... Leo, take me. Leo, I love you. And I just don't think that's going to happen, babe. <laughs> Two of Wands, I just don't think that's going to happen. You see, you looking out the window, it's like waiting for someone to come knock on your door. But like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sitting on the floor, journaling, meditating, drawing, coloring. I don't know what you're doing. Whatever. I'm just messing with you, Leo. Don't take anything too personally. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, you're waiting for something. And now I feel like you're deciding to love harder or you're trying you're deciding to try harder that's what spirit's guiding you to do okay i see you could be taking a trip soon okay to miami or something like that somewhere around the world i see this globe here okay maybe you're deciding to like take yourself out on a trip or to take yourself on some little like vacation or something like that okay i'm seeing the surfboard being significant as well maybe you're a surfer or you want to get into surfing okay or maybe you're attracted to a surfer or something like that a skateboarder i don't know 
I have this weird feeling that you're going to see someone on the street and you're meant to like flirt with them. This will be a this will be a sign of this try hard or try harder energy. If this person already like compliments you or speaks to you, you're doing just what you need to be doing, okay? This person's a try hard. But if you are the one who's like, oh, they need to talk to me, they they need to say something to me, and they don't, this is a sign for you to try harder. See what I'm saying? Okay. So that's that. Let's see how Leo is feeling about the current person in their energy field or the person coming into their energy field. How does Leo feel? How does Leo feel about this energy? Okay. Ooh, we have Queen of Pentacles. Five could be significant. You could be saying five, five, five or 55 could be significant. I feel like you want someone mature. You want someone who has their own job, who has their own car, who has their own place, who has it together. You want someone like you, or you want someone like who you're going to be. Um, yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Maybe you need to be honest with yourself about the kind of people that you want. Maybe that's why you're attracting people like that you don't want, or maybe that's why you're attracting situations and energy that you don't want, because you need to try harder with yourself, and you need to be more honest with yourself about the things that you want, the things that you're willing to accept, okay? Maybe you want a Capricorn, okay? Or maybe the person coming into your life is a Capricorn or another Leo like yourself. I'm just getting that this person's just like you. Very mature, very wise, okay? Very beautiful, and they know it too. All right, this person's just like you. They're going to remind you of yourself in so many ways, okay? But that's also going to trigger you, right? Yeah, it's gonna create some kind of confusion and some kind of disappointment. Only because you're looking at the wrong aspects. Only because you're looking at the parts of you that, like, you still need to grow. The parts of you that you still need to, like, achieve and have. And it will all come in time. This person also has flaws and insecurities. We all do. But it's like, you're not seeing that. Okay? So I feel like that's a message, too. Alright. Let's see. That also confusion energy, disappointment energy honestly discuss your feelings like if the past is bothering you right now or someone or some situations bothering you from the past talk about it pull cards if you're a tarot reader if you have your own cards or i don't know just talk about it journal about it write a story about it write song lyrics about it go on a walk listen to music or something thinking about it like where did i go wrong where did the situation go wrong why wasn't i happy what could have been done differently what can i do better next time okay I feel like that's all really important. You're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with yourself, with your spirit team, okay? Let's see how the person feels about you. How this person feels about Leo, please. Six of Cups. You feel like a long-lost soulmate or something like that. 808. Someone could be a drummer, okay? I saw 808 though that could be significant that could be your birthday august 8th okay or august 6th i'm also getting something about a virgo you could be really in love with a virgo or there's a virgo from your past that you're in love with or something like that or this is a virgo from your past that's in love with you or something like that hmm i feel like some of you you're worried that you're going to be alone forever but you're not going to be or this is this person I'm hearing man in the mirror again, which I channeled for Gemini, okay? But this person feels like you're like a long lost lover, a long lost soulmate. The Six of Cups talks about a soulmate energy, it talks about reconciliation of energy, it talks about something coming back around, okay? Something that feels familiar. That's what I'm saying, they're just like you. Can you tell me more? They also feel this connection too, they feel this bond too. You trigger them as well. The moon card, maybe you're a mirror to them. This could be a twin flame situation if you align to that dynamic, okay? They could be a Cancer or a Pisces as well. Here's the Gemini card like I talked about. Somebody was like running away from you in the past and it only made them drown before, drown, and made them feel like they were drowning and they couldn't do anything about it so they kept running, okay? But now they see you as family. Okay, or maybe they've spent some time with their family, or they spent some time around their friends. They've spent some time seeing real genuine connections, real genuine relationships, and now they want to come forward after a period of hesitating. Okay, wow. 
doesn't have to be somebody coming back from the past this could be somebody you haven't met yet but they feel familiar okay because you guys share like some kind of star maybe you were born around the same time or um the same date or something like that or you're from like the same kind of like heritage the same kind of background or something okay i'm also getting something about spirituality religion could be significant here Okay, I feel like this person is also very spiritual, also very family-oriented, has a job, has a career, right? Makes their own money, does their own thing, has friends, has a pet, has, has it all, right? And that's what you want. They're just like you. They have what you have. That's what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, Queen of Swords. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I feel like you're saying, Leo. I don't know. Do I want it? Do I not want it? Am I ready? That's what I'm saying. Try harder. Some of you, you're so detached from love. You're so detached. Maybe you're busy with work, or maybe you're just focused on like a career, but I feel like you need love too. Okay? Heart to heart conversations. Talk to someone. Open up. Be more vulnerable. You see how this heart is like in a cage and then the Ace of Swords. That's the truth spirit said. Be more vulnerable. Plant more seeds. Meet more people. Talk it out. Flirt. So on and so forth. Okay? You'll meet the right one. Some of you, I feel like that's what you're doing. You're wanting, like, the right one, so you're just disregarding love entirely until you find the right one, but you're not going to find the right one by doing that. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Anything else you want to tell Leo? Not all of that, but yeah. Here's this Virgo from your past trying to come back in, or this is you wanting to come back into the Virgo's life. Somebody has really bossed up, has really changed, okay? Could also be an Aries, okay? You could be meeting this person through work, okay? For some of you, I feel like you're going to be getting more status, more success, more famous, more popular, okay? More attention in general. And because you're glowing up, because you're stepping into a leadership position, this is going to be bringing people back from the past. Friends, lovers, family, so on and so forth. And they're like, hey, can I get a piece of the pie? No. No, they cannot. I feel like you don't want anything that's coming back around. I feel like you've already wrapped up some kind of cycle. For some of you, there is a Virgo who you do want to be with or a Capricorn who you do want to be with. And this person has changed. This person has matured. They went from the Nine of Pentacles to the Emperor. So it was somebody who was like in and out of your life, who was ghosting, okay? Or they just like were doing their own thing. They were very focused on something else other than you and a relationship. And now they want to focus on the relationship, on building a family with you, okay? Lastly, we'll pull an oracle message for you, Leo. Last message for Leo, please. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah. Try harder. That's just what I keep hearing. I try harder. You gotta balance the scales. It's like if you constantly wait and wait and wait and wait, then all this scale is like down here and the other one's way up here, but you need to bring them into balance. So you need to try harder. And for others of you, it's like you're continuing to try, 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 and nobody else is trying. Nobody else is like meeting you at your middle point or meeting your needs. So you gotta bring it back down and try less, okay? Hope that makes sense. I'm sending you so much love, Leo. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. If you'd like to tip or donate, information's in the description box. That's it for me. Until next time.